Happy Thursday, everybody. Today's topic is keto, carnivore, and the adiposity quotient, the metabolic marker you should be tracking. Hi, I'm Dr. Rose Petrilla, and today I changed the theme for Thursdays. It's now Biohack Thursday, where we go beyond macros and tap into measurable tools to optimize your health. Today, we're talking about a very powerful but underutilized metric for metabolic health, the adiposity quotient. Also known as the waist to hip ratio. You've probably heard of BMI and that's the body mass index. It doesn't account for body composition or fat distribution but the AQ ratio does. Here's how it works. Measure your waist at the smallest point, usually above the belly button. Then measure your hips at the widest point. Divide the waist measurement by your hip measurement. That number, it's telling you more than the scale ever will. And according to the World Health Organization, a healthy AQ is under 0.85 for women and 0.90 for men. Anything above those numbers increases your risk for insulin resistance, cardiovascular disease, and metabolic syndrome. Why does this matter? Because abdominal fat isn't just storage, it's metabolically active. Visceral fat, that's the fat around your organs, pumps out cytokines, which are inflammatory. That disrupts insulin signaling and contributes to a disease in a way that fat on your hips or thighs does not. And here's the kicker. The AQ ratio often starts going up before your blood sugar, blood pressure, or your cholesterol. It's a red flag and an opportunity. So what do you do about it? You lower the waist size by healing your metabolism, and that's where keto and carnivore come in. They retain your body to burn fat for fuel, and over time, you'll see that waistline shrink, not just for looks, but for life. So one of my clients, a, her AQ dropped from 0.94 to 0.84 in just six months of consistent low-carb living with zero hours on the treadmill and just clean eating and walking daily. That's the power of a lifestyle that works for your biology, not against it. So this week, measure your AQ. Don't just track your weight, track your risk. And this is one of those non-scale victories. You can't change what you don't measure. And when you do, that number becomes your baseline, your challenge, your biohack. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.